When we raised that flag, the troops down below just went crazy. Ships offshore, all the whistles were blowing. I tell you, it, it was really a proud moment. Whenever I see the American flag displayed, I think about seeing what the Marines went through on Iwo to raise that flag. The war memorial is a moment captured in time forever. The U.S. Marine Corps War Memorial. Dedicated by President Dwight D. Eisenhower on November 10, 1954, honors the Marines who have died in every major conflict since 1775 and their comrades and other service members who fell fighting beside them. All we can do is remember them and what they did and why they had to be brave for us. The monument is a symbol of dedication, devotion, commitment, duty, and doing so much to help our country preserve its freedom, its peace, its liberty, its justice. It is a source of inspiration. We take an oath to our nation. There is no expiration date on that oath. I state your full name. You solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. We are here to protect our nation, to protect the Constitution, protect our rights. We are prepared to go into the worst places and we are prepared to fight, not just in the sense of taking out the enemy, but we are there to do humanitarian assistance. Someone is relying on you to accomplish your mission. No matter if you were a Marine in World War I or World War II or Korea. Those rice paddies and jungles of Vietnam or the sands of Iraq or the treacherous mountains of Afghanistan. You have a kinship. It's all about taking care of the guy on your left and the guy on your right. The bonding that goes on in the Marine Corps stays with you till the day you die. They understand that they cannot allow those who have gone before to be let down. They know they can never let that legacy die. That's why history is so important. It's, it's part of our ethos. It's part of who we are. This is a place that honors and memorializes the sacrifice of Marines. Because they are no longer with us in the flesh, I must take a moment to thank their families, their sons, their daughters, their spouses, their fathers, their mothers, cousins. The families, those are the people who give more. They never had that loved one come home. They gave more than I ever did. and we'll be forever grateful for their sacrifice. What we want you to do, if we don't come home, is to continue to enjoy your life because that's what I was willing to sacrifice for. This inspired monument is a tribute to the indomitable courage of our fighting men and a manifestation of their faith in America. This is you. And you. And you. Silent, yet it will speak. Speak a universal tongue of the past, the present, and for the future.
that flag means the world to me. Because when I seen that raise up on the Iwo Jima, that was the best sight I've ever seen in my life. Because we was seeing so much death, but yet there's freedom. I was free. I might not make it through the day, but I'm free right now. And that flag that goes up over Suribachi represents all of America. It represents our ideals, our morals, our ethics, our willingness to sacrifice, to endure hardships in order to see things through. That is a great monument and symbol to the American people and the American way of life. It's freedom, man. It's freedom pretty much for me.